Hello, welcome to the page of Dapper Man. This is going to be the first video I've ever done like this. I have never done a video like this and I've always been cautious and curious about making one. It always played with my ideas and thoughts. I'm just not really a fan of talking about me collecting movies, even though that's what I do, I collect movies. Just making a video of me um, doing a DVD Blu-ray haul, I'm just not a fan of it. But I guess I can always break a bit of a boundary for me and see how well I do in this. This video is, I guess, made more exclusive towards someone who I subscribe to and someone who I follow and enjoy watching his videos. If you do uh, want to follow him, I am not sponsored or anything by him. It's Ciro at Midnight. And he has a site called Ciro at Midnight.com. He's on YouTube. I will post a link onto this account and hopefully you guys will follow him. I enjoy watching him because he doesn't use strong profanity and he talks about something that I very much enjoy. The love of films. And there's a couple of others but they tend to go a bit strong in the language and get really explicit in things I really don't care for. So, you know, here we go. Um, I am not, again, sponsored or endorsed by this store that I bought these movies from. This is something I bought for the past two weeks and I had a really great deal. They're between 30 to 50% off. In fact, there's two movies in there I actually got 60% off. And it was cheaper because I love to shop around. I go to flea markets. I go to my favorite is thrift stores and pawn shops where I began my love for films. And that's how I get my movies pretty dirt cheap. And that's why I have so many because most of these movies back here um, did not cost more than $20. The most expensive movies I've ever bought is a Criterion and one Blu-ray set I got but I can't find the movie anymore so let's get on with um, my haul that I've got. This is it and this is the movies that I've got and I've got a load of movies but then again I did work extra hard, got overtime so that covers it. <laughs> Here is a first. Now this is not a horror film, but this is a film I watched as a child and I've never watched it again. I, I tried finding it, couldn't find it, and it is called Captain Blood. Captain Blood has Earl Flynn. He was quite a character and it had um, Olivia de Havilland. They played in quite a movies with each other. He was quite a rascal amongst the women, which if you get my term then you know exactly what I'm talking about. He was a womanizer. But this movie was really great. It's helped me with my love for sword fighting films. My favorite is the Robin Hood movie, The Adventures of Robin Hood. Highly recommended. And I remember renting this movie one time at the library. So it's not really renting, it's checking out. And I remember doing sword fights with my brothers and I enjoyed it. Never seen it again. Cannot find this on Blu-ray. I looked on Amazon and eBay accounts and they sell this movie for $30. I did not pay 30 for this dollar movie. I paid, I think, $7, 7 or $8. So I was extremely happy for this and I had like a buy two, get one free, buy two, get one for a dollar used on FYU. So that made it even better. But this, I'm going to watch again because I completely forgot almost everything in this movie other than the sword fight they did on the ships. So that is that one. This is a horror double feature. This is probably my favorite way of collecting a movie. It's when they have two movies and they have two classics in one. Now, I can tell you the Curse of Frankenstein I have seen. Again, it's been since I was a teenager since I saw this one. The second one, I have no idea about. It's called Taste the Blood of Dracula. Um, it has Peter Cushing and it has Christopher Lee. Not together in each film, separately. But it's a Hammer film. I very much love the Hammer film style. I love the Macabre. I love the Gothic. I just, I really enjoy the Gothic style of horror. So I will see how well both these movies hold up from the last time. Again, I've always saw the first one, so that's The Curse of Frankenstein, not The Taste of Blood of Dracula. I guess I'll see it. So I'll let you know sometime in the future. Don't know when, but I'll let you know. This was actually recommended by both a professor when I was in massage school in Gainesville and my pastor. I've heard of this a couple of times, but I actually came across it. I remember coming across it one time on eBay and they sold it for like $30 and I was going to pay $30 for it on DVD. So I got What the Bleep 
and it's like what the bleep do you know and down the rabbit hole I believe these are two movies in one so this is 152 minutes I did not know it was that long it's documentary style or a documentary I really have no idea about this at all whatsoever so I guess I will find out how well this is and why would both a professor in a massage school and my pastor who pretty much Baptist based is recommending me to see this documentary it's got me quite interested because it is a film on the metaphysical world science and spirituality okay you know what I think I understand why one of them recommended this me this movie so I'm going to see it I'm a huge fan of Monster Squad and the director Fred Decker and I've always enjoyed that movie I think the first time I watched it was about like seven eight years ago because it was never the video store in fact I think one time we did rent it and the tape broke it just snapped so this was one of his first early films or his first films again I can't I don't know don't quote me on that and this is a movie called Night of the Creeps this has a zombie slime it's like the ultimate and b-horror film from what I read from what I saw hearing two other people tell me I have to see this movie this was actually very cheap how I got this because when I first saw it it was $30 I'm like there is no way I'm paying 30 for this even if it's by Scream Factory I love a Scream Factory blu-ray but I'm not paying $30 for this so I was really excited to know more about this movie I can't find it anywhere else I looked at the library I tried asking others no one doesn't know they had a burnt a burned a burned copy on DVD and I couldn't finish, I couldn't go through the first 10 minutes because it was so blur and looked like someone had a video camera recording on a telly and it's just not something I think I like watching my movie I respect movie value way too much to be watching it like that so I can't wait to watch this movie and see how well this does this is another movie I have no idea about and I enjoyed Tim Burton in fact it even has a sticker right there FYE exclusive The Corpse Bride I have never seen this movie I've seen A Nightmare Before Christmas but that wasn't directed by Tim Burton in fact okay this one's partially directed by Tim Burton it has two directors Mike Johnson and Tim Burton so hey there we go I wonder if, uh, if the music I'm looking at it yes Danny Elfman of course Tim Burton, Danny Elfman, and Johnny Depp, which is quite the essential for trio whenever you have any type of gothic horror film. And this is stop motion. I very much enjoy stop motion animated films, which is one of my favorite styles for animation. So I'm going to see how this is like. I did somewhat like Frank and Weenie. I've got to see it again. So I guess I'll see how this one is. This is the movie. I remember playing on a telly and we recorded it once and we watched it so many times the tape broke so there was nothing you could do about that once the tape breaks and I think it takes about a good 300 views before the tape actually breaks usually from rewinding it too much and it played again on a, on a television and we recorded it again and it had loads of ads on the bottom of the screen the corner right which always just ticked me off and made me upset and made me mad because I didn't want to see all the ads I just wanted to see the movie for what it was I bought the movie when I lived on my own in Gainesville and I let someone borrow it and I never got it back and that very much upset me so I never found the movie again and I just found it it's not I know it's on blu-ray but I'm not willing to pay twenty dollars for it so I paid four dollars for it and I am really trying to lean more on Blu-ray, but if I got a DVD, why not? Four dollars, and it is called Arachnophobia. My mom has a fear of spiders, and I know she always screamed, or she always looked away at certain scenes because she had a fear of spiders, so... Yeah, this was one of my favorites. The first movie I watched, monster film, was Frankenstein. But the first one I bought with my money was the Invisible Man. That was the very first Universal Monster movie I bought on VHS and I'll never forget it because I got my paycheck 
and Sam's Club had loads of these movies out and I told my mom I wanted to buy a movie at Sam's Club she says well next time we go to Sam's well let's see what movie you can get and I'm going to see what movie you get she was very cautious about it and even though I was pr very far in age but for some reason she was very cautious about what I brought into the house and it is The Invisible Man I cannot wait to see this because I have not seen it for the longest time and I have to say it has a lovely just drawn by Alex Ross I love this the style Alex Ross has especially in the DC comics and I even love the poster he did for Justice League not a fan of Justice League but I do I couldn't wait because I had to open it because it felt very loose I've only paid six dollars and five cents for this blu-ray and it has a digital copy or I put the digital copy away so you don't have to see it but I enjoy that style and right there that is just a great looking style for a movie this is one of those few movies I actually like to have a steelbook of and I just it just has a great I just very much enjoy it I love the manic hysteria that is in this I thought it was crazy watching a movie made in the 30s, watching him become invisible. I mean, it's pretty obvious what they did. They just erased it, took some clips, and just reclipped it. It was just it had to take a load of work for that time frame, and I love this movie. I know, I just have it has a very dear spot for me, and I can't wait to see it again. Piranha. I was excited to get this on Blu-ray because I had the DVD, and I was hoping so much hoping to see a much more higher definition in this copy it has a very nice style and even has a quote right there people eat fish fish don't eat people which is quite funny this was pretty much the jaws ripoff i did put a brief review on my instagram and facebook account on the dapper man reviews so if you wish to check it out you can um, hopefully maybe I will make a video maybe I will make a video of this I can tell you I have the blu-ray and let me see I know I have the DVD Wow talk about that it's right next to each other that is the DVD of it it's the same exact copy except for one's DVD one's blu-ray it has the same exact definition so it didn't improve I could say I like the DVD a bit more it's got this booklet inside it has a flip cover right there and right there showing the different poster arts that came with it I am very much a fan of having booklets inside especially if a director wrote something personal on a note or something the disc everything has the same exact special features nothing additional nothing new other than you have a steel book which has a nice gloss um, feel to it and that's basically it so I was actually a bit disappointed in the blu-ray I I mean I like the case but if I get a blu-ray I want to see a high definition I want the sound to be much more better the sound I think was a wee bit better but not that much I have never seen this hammer film I've seen a lot of hammer films but this is one I have not seen and people has told me you have to see this one it is called Frankenstein created women woman sorry Frankenstein created a woman and that title alone I think is already worth it it has director Terence Fisher which he's returning I guess after a long time for not directing a hammer film for like five years or so and he is direct this one Terence Fisher is one of my favorite directors especially with the hammer films he has a great style great gothic style to it and um, I guess it's rated PG but <laughs> that case kind of shows a bit otherwise I don't know I just like the style I like it and I very much love the Screen Factory they have a great style and they have great special features in there and there's a load of features on there so I can't wait to watch it and I think I actually watched a brief review on another YouTube page called Cinemasker which is everyone knows the angry video game nerd once again I am not sponsored or anything by him but Hey, if he recommends it, I'm going to watch it. I believe I saved the best for last. This is the granddaddy of my sci-fi horror films. And I watched the I watched all four. I cannot remember the fourth one for the life of me. But I remember the first three. 
and that is the Critters Collection. It has all four Critters films. It's got Critters, Critters 2, the main course, Critters 3, Critters 4. Now they have released a new Critters film, Critters Attack. I really want to see it, but there's so many people who told me it's so bad you don't want to see it. Like it's, it's awful. But something tells me I'm still going to see it. <laughs> it's also the only one that's not rated PG-13. All of these movies are PG-13. And I think it had a surprising amount of... I think it had some gore. I know it had blood. I know it had that. I think the only gore was like the same exact things you got from Gremlins. In fact, I'm going to open this. I can't wait. I'm, I'm really excited. And I should have opened it, but I was too excited to not open it. So you get to see me open it. Again, I'm not a person to watch movies videos on other people opening Blu-rays and DVDs, but hey, why not? That is exactly the style I remember of the VHS. That's exactly what it looked like. Oh my lord. Cisco and Ebert, both thumbs up. I did not know that. I did not know they gave it a thumbs up. Oh my goodness. And I was they were the ones who really got me into movies when I snuck inside my dad and mom's room. They're hearing this for the first time, so you're hearing it. I've always snuck inside, locked the door, and they had a television inside their room, and I would switch on to Cisco and Ebert. Shows you how much of a movie nerd I am. I guess other people be watching other things. I'll be watching the movie reviews. We didn't go to the movie theaters or anything, but I wanted to watch their reviews on movies, and I did not know that. And it's got a cool inside cover. Oh my goodness. The battle began in another galaxy. It's about to end in Brown's backyard. Oh my goodness. You know what? I think instead of Invisible Man, I may be watching Creators first. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I remember this one, Creators 2. This is when they all formed up in a ball and ate this man until he turned to a skeleton. This, I thought, was funny. I think this is the one when they went to the city. No, that's the third one. They were still in like the rural side of the country, I believe. This has a cool inside. Oh, yes, it does. It's everyone's turn for seconds. I remember that. That's exactly what they said in the commercial. It's everyone's turn for seconds. Oh, my goodness. Now, I heard this one didn't do as good as the first one. That's odd. I can't believe it. I thought it was just as good. But then again, it's been since I was a child since I saw that. I think I remember my mom actually telling me to turn my head away from a couple of scenes. And this is when I was a child. Third one. You are with the... Yes, this is the city one. This is the one in the city. And this is the one that has Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, big whoopity do. No, he's a grand actor. But not when he first started. And I really cannot stand that Titanic film. I hate it. I'm a huge Titanic fan. And I think I got that a lot from because my mom... And she would study the Titanic. She would get books on it. She would get documentaries, National Geographic and everything else. And he started it, but forget that movie. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about Critters 3. You Are What They Eat. Was that the full title? No, okay. That's just a punchline. That's another thing I noticed. A lot of movies don't really have too many punchlines. This one always had that punchline. You always wonder, is that the extension of the title of the movie? I don't know. And it has a cool inside. Critters 3. That's exactly what I remembered. Right there. Where they go flying. They didn't turn into a ball in this one. I can't remember. I really believe they went to like some superpower on Critters 3. If I remember right. And if I also remember right, there was one actor who always showed up in every single Critters. Pretty much like that movie Tremors, where you always had Michael Cross always appearing, continuing that horror movie. But yeah, I'm gonna have to, I, I, I can't remember too much about it. Critters 4. Okay, this is bringing a bit of memory because I remember seeing that VHS cover. They're invading your space. This is where they like go back into space. And I think he tries a... Angela Bassett. I did not know Angela Bassett was in say this movie. And Paul Whithorn? What? Huh. 
Let's see what the inside of this looks like. Okay. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Just a wee bit. I guess if you high def that picture into that, that's what you get. Hmm. But yeah, this is the one I think that there were actually astronauts in space or something of the sort. I think it's coming a bit to memory now. I think I have seen it before. And I think one of the characters actually turned bad. It's ringing a bell. But I can't. I'm going to have to watch it. So that's that's why I got the movies for. I got them to watch. So I'm going to have to watch them. And you know what? I think that was a bit more fun than I thought it would be. So, again, this feels very odd because I'm talking to the camera. And the camera is going to be uploaded. So, yeah, I think like that. I don't think that I'm actually looking at you right now watching this YouTube video. I think about me with my small apartment house looking to the camera and listening to my voice editing which that's another story but hopefully you have some fun watching me open a movie and movies and maybe you have some thoughts or maybe you've had some history behind watching these movies growing up first time watching it never seen it hey if you've never seen it a couple of these movies have never seen so I guess it's fresh for me too and if you have seen any of those films that I just showed you, this would be the longest video I've ever done. Now I'm thinking about it. But if you have seen any of those movies, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Just, you know, converse back. I am pretty good at responding. I am very good at responding. I just don't respond back in that very hour, but I will do my best to respond back. And let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I can't wait to hear them. And that is it. So hopefully until next time, all of you have a lovely evening and take care. Cheers.